Hey, what's up everybody? I want to go and make a video this time on Diablo 4, a game I've been playing a lot lately. So Season 1 came out recently, and the recent patch has made people a little bit worried about the future of Diablo 4. Anyways, Season 1 still has been a lot of fun. The new mechanic for the Malignant Hearts has actually been kind of interesting. Either just more damage, or you can have some unique mechanics and the way that things interact. It's pretty cool. But what I want to talk about today is the first malignant tunnel that you go into, the Dinde Hollows. So the reason I'm going to even bother talking about this one, since you are introduced to it, first campaign quest that you do here, is because it actually is probably the most efficient way of gaining experience now from 1 to 50. You don't need to be doing Temple of Rot resets, Onyx Stronghold resets over and over and over again. You can just keep doing Dinde Hollows. So let me go into a little bit about why. It's pretty ideal for XP farming. So there's no maze. It's a very consistent structure, very high density of mobs. It's really easy to reset. You just have to do the reset dungeon button has been added back, by the way, in season one. It's also really close to a waypoint in a major town. So as long as you got all your waypoints carried over to your character, you are all set to go ahead and run this right from level one. It also is just about as efficient, if not even more efficient than stronghold farms. So in Dinde Hollows, there's only one objective. It is slay all enemies. But most time we hate that objective because there's always stragglers you have to run around and capture this one mob you just want everything to be clustered up and get burst down well there's two great things about dende hollows here first one i mentioned before very high density of mobs and the second one is this hidden mechanic that has been added in season one seems to be dungeon layout specific but it's extremely consistent in dende hollows so what happens is i'm gonna call it snapping when you're down to the last 20 or so mobs remaining like i'll tell you 16 remaining or something like that any mobs that are still stragglers are gonna automatically port right to you at that time. So they just kind of like snap to your location. So what that means is you're no longer just gonna be chasing down these individual ones in random rooms. You can just totally focus on finding big clusters of mobs and doing some damage, killing whatever you can along the way. So you can do it as efficiently as possible. And of course there's other benefits. Yes, the XP is great here. And it's very consistent structure, very consistent, great XP. However, there's another thing that I want to mention is it also gives you really good loot. So if you've done Temple of Rot a lot of times, I'm sure you've noticed you get garbage for loot, you get nothing. But here, you get really good loot that's constantly scaling with you. You also get a lot of the malignant hearts of various types. I've even gotten wrathful ones to drop just because I've done it so many times. The wrathful ones might be rare. So here's an example of porting right there. They just all just ported right in my location. Those were a bunch of stragglers. And there they are. So you get the hearts, you get all the materials to go and make more hearts so you can, you know, salvage the ones you don't want, get more of the materials for them. And then you can just choose to do more of the elite mobs if you want just by activating the hearts. You can activate the hearts, run around, kill some more enemies, and then you can just continue killing groups of enemies and any of the ones you activated earlier on are just going to port to you anyways. So I highly recommend if you are uh, leveling a new character, try it into Hallows for experience. Highly recommended. Just focus on destroying groups of mobs. Upgrade your damage and everything like that because you're going to be here for a while. <laughs> you can do this level 1 to 50 if you want. Anyways, I thought this was worth sharing and explaining. I was really surprised that this is something that they changed. I wish it was the same for all the other dungeons. Slay all enemies has typically been just, I hate that one. It just takes so much longer, but not here. With that snap mechanic, it is really good. Alright, that's all for today. See ya.